Well, we hope you did something outside tonight. Thursday Night Live was yep. a good option. Just, I don't know, anything really. The space station going it, it was, by was yeah, fun. It yeah, it was beautiful out there. Sometimes it's little things that can be kind of it exciting is. going out and watching that go over. And, and the stars were out tonight. And Why so it's... was most of our staff. Down yeah, Thursday night. <laughs> it was a uh, Thursday Night Live. I mean, there was a big crowd down oh, there yeah, tonight. It was a great of course, night for it. LX18 is a proud sponsor thereof. Let's go ahead and talk about it. We are looking at your day tomorrow, which begins with sunshine. Not as cool either. That's a sign that there's going to be a little more moisture in the air. So we'll be in the low 60s. Getting hotter tomorrow afternoon. By lunchtime, we're going to be in the low 80s. You know, that's a surprise. Mid 80s at lunchtime, more humid. And yeah, the stray thunderstorm can't be ruled out as we get you into the afternoon. That's a sign that the muggies are starting to come back. So let's get into all the reasons why. And with that, the muggies creep back in tomorrow. Just sort of sneak in. We'll notice them not only tomorrow afternoon, through the holiday weekend. Speaking of your holiday weekend, there are reasons for hope. All week we've been saying it wasn't going to be a washout, that there's going to be dry time. Well, it looks like there's going to be more dry time. It's still going to be rain to deal with and maybe quite a bit of it, but again, there's going to be times where you can get out and enjoy the holiday. For the tropics, that's part of the reason why, is the system that's developing down there may actually pull some of the moisture back as it begins to condense and strengthen. So we'll look at all that coming up. High temperatures. Well, we've gotten awfully used to the 80s. Our normal high would be in the 70s. We don't have that coming perhaps until sometime in June. Today, high of 83 made it the 17th day of 80 degrees or more. We are not quite to record territory yet, but we're getting awfully close. We have made the adjustment. Our average high now has been 81.8, including today. Ties us for third place for our warmest high temperatures for the month of May. We do have a legitimate shot at getting to 1944. In terms of the number of 80 degree days, the record is 23 from 1944. Right now we're sitting at 17. At this point, all of the days that we are forecasting till the end of the month are 80 or above. And if that happens, we break the record. We're also looking at the warmest May on record, which would be a perfect bookend to the warmest February we had and the two incredibly cold months of March and April. Weather keeps the balance. Our dew point's beginning to sneak up just a little tiny bit. Now sitting at 60, you're starting to notice there's a little moisture in the air. There's no wind and it's a beautiful evening with temperatures in the upper 60s. Upper 60s, low 70s, and again, the dew point just beginning to get to the point where you notice it, but certainly not muggy yet. That happens tomorrow. Your day is greeted by a little moisture in the air. It will finish with us beginning to push toward the yuck category. So what's going on is a warm front. That's where the real humidity lies, and as it comes north, we will see it come through tomorrow morning. That introduces the muggies back into the equation, and with it also, an isolated afternoon thunderstorm cannot be ruled out. It's a small chance most of us stay dry. Then on Saturday, we begin the day dry, but we should see showers and thunderstorms increase in the afternoon. Locally heavy rain will be a possibility from those. We're also tracking what may become Alberta. I want to show you the clustering of the models, bringing it anywhere from New Orleans to about Pensacola as we go through the weekend into the early part of next week. Could be a very interesting system to watch. Here it is on the European model, and you'll see the heavy rain and the winds beginning to wrap around there as it does strengthen in the warm waters of the northern Gulf of Mexico. It is something to be watching for. If you're headed that way for the holiday, be aware you're going to deal with a lot of wind and rain. Not tonight around here, though. Low 60s and clear. It's mid-80s tomorrow. Sunshine giving way to more clouds in the afternoon. Isolated thunderstorm Friday. Much better chances Saturday and Sunday, but plenty of dry hours mixed in there. And most of Memorial Day may be just fine.